Pretty unicorn here. So I had to think long and hard about how I wanted to make this video because I don't want to come across as an expert uh, because I'm not and uh, I don't want to be pre preachy or teachy when I talk about uh, money manifestation. So um, I've done it and it's worked for me. It's worked for me very well. And um, I guess what I want to say to you is that uh, one of my favorite thinkers, Nikola Tesla, I almost said Bob Proctor. I mean, he's also one of my favorite thinkers, but Nikola Tesla, he says, if you want to understand the keys to the universe, think in terms of vibration, frequency, and energy. Now, I might have mixed the three of those around, but you know, those are the three nevertheless. Vibration, frequency, and energy. That's what everything is made up of. If you think of a piano and you're talking, you know, the keys on a piano, you know, A, B, C, D, E, uh, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Um, or do re mi fa so la ti do right so you know how it's like um do re mi fa so la ti do right so each key has a sound and a vibration so the hammer in that piano in the back of that piano that you don't see strikes um a chord literally it strikes uh, a chord and it shakes, right? It has a vibration and that's how we get that sound, high or low, flat, sharp, whatever it is, right? So you have to strike a chord with money, that frequency, and be on key with money. So let's say you're singing uh, a song with three-part harmony and it's ooh, 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 right? <laughs> and maybe somebody comes in, ooh, <laughs> and it's like, bro, you're off. <laughs> you're off key, get on key, you're sharp, you're flat, you're right up under the note, it sounds bad, I don't want you on the microphone, you're gonna jack up the recording, you're gonna, j you know, whatever, right? So my advice is to get on key with money because it has a frequency, it has a vibration. And the way that I was able to do that is by a tool that I learned a long time ago. Um, I guess I didn't take it seriously enough when it came to money. So this is a tool from uh, self-image psychology uh, called, you know, I mean, it's visualization basically. But I learned it a long time ago and I used it to work on my self-esteem. Uh, I used to be a person who struggled with uh, very frequently with suicidal ideation. And um, well, that's that's a, a life threatening disorder. So um, I had to work really, really hard on myself uh, to clean up my self-esteem. And um, I never thought about doing it with money until I started running into all of this law of attraction stuff and law of manifestation. So what you do is basically... I mean, you can call it vis visualizing, you can call it fantasizing, but you need to give yourself a good 20 minutes a day. And the best way for me to do that is before I sleep and just before I wake up. Because when I wake up, chances are the first thing I do is I pray, uh, make some statements of gratitude. I, you know, I go through the motions basically, but like I don't get directly out of bed. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. But when I don't, I can have that good, you know, 20 minutes of visualization. But normally, again, and I do say normally, I do this before bed because my morning routine is, you know, a little bit more infrequent. So you're just laying in bed trying to doze off and you see yourself exactly how you want to be. Imagine yourself in abundance. Imagine yourself. And this is a real exercise. Like this is something like you can take to the bank, cash it. It is a check that will not bounce. And um, I will leave some links in my description for you to further enhance this muscle because it is a muscle and you've got to do some heavy lifting in order to train it. Because sometimes uh, I know with me trying to manifest money with uh, the self uh, 
the self visualization or self image psychology uh, tool of visualization. Like there were times that I mean I failed. I mean I I tried to do this many times, and you know I experienced homelessness. I was living in my car. I was, you know, living in other people's houses. I was couch surfing. Like just a lot of things happened. Yet and still, I made it through. Uh, but part of the reason I uh, I kept messing up because people are like, "Oh, I'm practicing the law of attraction." You know, why isn't it working? Why isn't it working? And it might be due to a defect in the way that you practice. So uh, you need an almost unbroken focus, and I don't mean unbroken focus like you can't think of other things, but like. There are times I would visualize myself with money and then immediately see something happening to where it's gone or I would dream too small, right? I mean, if you're uh, imagining something small, like, you know, all your bills are paid and, you know, your rent is paid on time, then it's like that's not even abundance that you're thinking about and you're trying to get on a frequency with money manifestation and abundance, right? So maybe the better thing to do instead of, oh, I got a house, I got a car, my phone, you know, whatever is on. <laughs> Think more along the lines of, what would I do if I was a millionaire? Where would I be? Who would I be with? What would my hair look like? What would my makeup look like? As a matter of fact, where would I buy this makeup from? And would I, would I have a team of professionals who work on me? Like maybe I've got an eyelash girl, an eyebrow girl, a guy who does my nails, um, somebody who does my makeup in the morning. Like how would you live? Be honest with yourself and really see that in front of you. Maybe you're at the mall or, you know, you're on a shopping spree. How would you behave? How would you walk? How straight would your back be? Would your shoulders be, you know, hunched or would they be back with pride? What would be the expression on your face? How wide would your stride be when you walk? When you travel, how would you travel? What kind of car would you be riding in? Would you drive or would you be chauffeured? How about your flight? Would you be in economy or first class? Your luggage, what would it look like? A duffel bag you got, you know, from Amazon.com or... Would it be all, you know, Louis V. carry-ons? What would it be like? What would it smell like? How would you interact with people? How would you spend your time knowing that you are financially stable? What would you do with it? How would people treat you and how would you treat them? Imagine. And when you start to feel that, when you start to feel that elevation, you're going to go ahead and grab yourself in between your index finger and thumb finger. You're going to grab that meat right in between it. Not enough to hurt yourself, but just enough to, uh, just enough to feel the pressure. Because once you get to the peak of that thought, it's almost like how... A person with PTSD, right? You can traumatize a person to where the memory is triggered. Or you can also trigger healthy, beautiful, wonderful thoughts. So at the peak of whatever that self-image, fantasizing, visualizing thing that you're doing, you're going to go ahead and just grab yourself. like Not like, not like a pinch. Don't hurt yourself. But, you know, grab it. <laughs> grab that meat and then let it go. Take a few deep breaths, clear your mind. And when you grab that part of your hand again, you should be able to have that exact thought. And that is how you know that you did it the right way. And if you can't, it's probably because you need to repeat the practice. Now, this is just one way. There are a million ways. I mean, that's a great way to give yourself a physiological response. But I mean, even if you were just laying in your bed or you were just writing in a manifestation journal, all the things you would have, all the things that you would do. I made myself some uh, 2020 vision boards and I look at them every day to remind myself and to inculcate within myself what my goals are. Abundance. 
I did not stifle my dreams at all. I did not say to myself, well, what is practical? And am I being delusional? Let yourself be delusional. Let yourself be impractical. Abundance. If you could spend open-handedly, how would you do it? Really think about those things. Get creative with yourself and bring yourself joy. And once you get a hold of that joy, grab yourself between the index and thumb finger, right on that meat that connects them. And make sure you never forget. And every night before you go to bed, you know, you should be able to trigger that memory. And your thoughts will become your reality because that's the truth of life the truth of life is that your thoughts become your reality so we have to change our thoughts and this is one of those ways now like i said before i lived in my car already a micro studio apartment uh government support i mean you name it and now i've manifested different streams of income I've manifested. I mean, just so much. I mean, I'm constantly shopping. I almost feel guilty about it and I really have to stop myself from feeling guilty because there's nothing wrong with plenty, especially if in reality, you know, you're a generous and kind-hearted person. But I've definitely, I mean... I've definitely come a long way when it comes to uh, finances. And honestly, the law of manifestation and money manifestation and the law of attraction have so much to do with that. (laughs) I don't know if you can hear my family in the background, but I can, Uh, which is part of the dream because I want it to be stable, but near my family. Alright y'all, the Bible says, uh, be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. There's a lot of habits and a lot of thoughts, especially with those of us who have uh, psychological, physical, and emotional abuse in our backgrounds. It's like, sometimes it's like somebody else made a mess of you and they left you to clean it up. And it's like, well, I didn't make this mess. But when you're an adult, I mean, you got to, you got to grab that broom, that dustpan, that mop and get to cleaning up your mind. Think beautiful thoughts. Really let yourself go there. And I'm telling you, that makes you a vibrational match. When you feel it, when you're in the moment, it's like dress rehearsal. I used to do theater. And um, at dress rehearsal, everyone would be so much more in character because we were dressing the part. You really got to put yourself in that character, put yourself in that place and see it vividly in your mind. Fight to see it vividly. Now, it's going to be a struggle. It's not going to happen for many people instantly. For some, it will happen instant, instantly. And congratulations to all you people who can do that instantly. I've, I've seen it happen. But for some of us like me, it took me time. And it took me for me to travail and to fight against all the negative thoughts that wanted to come up against my positive uh, thinking. That wanted to come up against my visualization my manifestation so all the best to you and um, I'm gonna leave a video in uh, my description box it's kind of a guided meditation to do exactly what I've just um, asked you to do so with that being said I want to thank you so much for watching my channel thank you for sharing my videos I thank you so much because it helps me a lot and um, please if you get a chance check out my website up at unicorn.com you can also follow me on Instagram at Up and Unicorn. And um, I've got a Facebook page. I would love for you to like it. And that's also Up and Unicorn. So with that being said, I'm Uppity and I'm out of here.